So, you've run some DNA on a gel. You got the photo. Now what? Well, first of all, you may want to convert it into a negative. It'll be easier to work with. Now, the reason that you want a negative of this image is that it's just simply going to be much easier to draw things and make notes. For example, the first thing you will want to do is draw a straight line across the top of your gel or across the bottoms of your wells. You will then use this straight line as a base from which to measure the distance to each of the DNA fragments on the molecular weight marker. Basically what you want to do is find out how far each of those DNA fragments has migrated. You will then assign sizes to each of those DNA fragments based on the molecular weight marker that you ran in the lab. Once you have the migration distances along with the sizes of the fragments, you're then going to graph these on a semi-log sheet of paper. Now, semi-log paper might seem a little confusing, but trust me, it simplifies this whole process. Once you have plotted the molecular weight versus migration distance on a graph, you're going to look for the linear portion of the line and draw a straight line. And then based on that straight line, you will be able to determine the size of any of the unknown fragments from the gel, as you can see here. So in this case, Okonya is measuring the distance migrated by one of the fragments on her gel. She's then going to go to the graph and take that migration distance. And based on the migration distance, going to go up to the line and then across to find out the size of the fragment. So what was the distance? It's that simple. You just simply do this for all the other unknown fragments and you're done. See you in the next video.